Soil filled RSP. The definition is this start, this technique starts with a fully engineered RSP slope. You lay it back to whatever the design engineers determined. You can include a uh, fabric underlayment and possibly drainage for the slope dewatering. I'm going to give you a couple of alternatives to the fabric underlayment. And then, uh, so this is specified by a collaboration between geotechnical, hydraulics, and the project engineer. The addition of soil and vegetation as a final lift completes the stability solution. The intent of soils is to develop and support the growth of shallow, growth of shallow rooted plants in the voids between any sized RSB. Examples of shallow rooting plants may include plug planted species, grasses, seedling plants, or locally appropriate seed mixes that are hydraulically dry applied. So you can seed it by hand. The benefits are you can reuse some of your duff and topsoil or stockpiled material to fill in the RSB. Uh, successful shallow growth, growth forms a living fabric throughout the slope's vertical dimension. So we can get the roots growing through, locking all this stuff together uh, much better. RSP will satisfy the cover requirements for the construction general permit on final graded slopes. However, adding soil and vegetation to the voids as the top lift, say the top four inches of the structure section over the RSP backing or the backfill material provides a softer, context sensitive solution and improves the aesthetics of the treatment. This technique is uh, presented as a non stream bank location. Remember, we have to bring hydraulics on board before we talk about doing some of these things on stream banks. Also, there's the possibility of having some turbidity right in the stream as you're adding soil to some of this stuff. So let's be careful with that. Uh, if deeper rooted plants are desired, such as willows or shrub trees, suitable for steep slopes, soil preparation of the existing subsoil may be necessary prior to the placement of the RSP to accommodate deep rooting. Now also, something you should know is that geotextiles uh, reduce root penetration. That's what they're for. They were, they're weed cloths in many types of landscape uses. So if you want your roots to grow through the RSP, through any fill, and into the native soil, then you sh maybe should eliminate the use of the geotextiles and instead use a granular filter. The uh, Caltrans uh, RSP Bank and Shoreline book tells you how to use granular, permeable granular material in lieu of filter fabric. It's right in the book. So you might consider that if root penetration is your goal. It still provides the separation necessary. And you can use this with local topsoil, with duff, with erosion control hydro seed, and I can also see it being used with compost. So uh, there's the soil filled RSP. We have a uh, diagram of it here, some important uh, features that it has. If you are, in fact, going to soil fill this RSP, and yet you're intended to release the pore pressure through the rock, uh, David Derrick calls it choking the rock with soil, then we don't want to cause slope failure. So make sure you have, if, if necessary, you have some appropriate drainage behind this. You have a uh, subsurface drain, perforated pipe, or some such thing behind it. Another thing that you might want to specify is you're trying to get granular growth medium in with the rock. And it's very difficult at times. You can lay your rock and then you come back after the fact. What did you say? It's usually the afterthought or something. Uh, after the fact, now choke it with soil or something. So how are you going to get the soil in between the rock way back in there? And what, can you jet it in? Or are you going to jet it in, use water to wash it in? Well, if you have a storm drain right there, you have a violation waiting, you're going to get turbidity. So again, as with many of these things, sometimes it just takes talking to the contract about changing your construction techniques a little bit. Lay a couple, here's your slope, lay a couple of courses of rock, put some soil in back in there, a couple more rocks, a couple more soils as you build it. It, it. it seems like let's just do the rock and do the soil fill as an afterthought. Usually these things work out well when you do them consistently. 
You could actually have your cut back here. You could lay a few rocks. You lay your granular pea gravel to sand permeable filter that allows rooting through it. Lay some soil, more rock, more granular material, more rock, and build it up like you're building a cake. Is just another way of construction. You'll have the, the thing you want.